Hey guys, hope you're having a good day today. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some neon line art in Affinity Photo. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to grab your image, take it over here, and we're going to add an adjustment layer. And that's going to go to the levels. First thing we want to do is kind of darken the image a little bit. So we'll go to the output white level and I'll bring, bring this about, about to 80% or so. Uh, you can do lighter or darker, just kind of look at your image and you want it to deepen a little. Um, next thing we're going to do, make sure the levels adjustment is selected. Go to the gear icon, bring this underlying composition range down some so the face right here kind of lightens up. As you can see when you change that, it's subtle but it does make a difference. So we'll go right there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is add a pixel layer right here, just like so. And then we're going to go to our paintbrush tool. Make sure your opacity, flow, hardness is all at 100. And you're going to want to select the white right here. And you can adjust the size of your brush, brush simply by using the bracket keys. So we'll do that a little bit. And then we're just going to outline the edge of our person or whatever your figure is there's a couple waves in the hoodie sweatshirt in this specific image that i'm going to try to add to increase a little depth and just make the image overall appear a little bit better next thing we're going to do is make sure the pixel layer is selected like so and then we're going to add a gaussian blur Wrong one. so if you go all the way up here you can just add a little bit of a gaussian blur just so the edges of the line are a little bit smoother and they don't look as rough. Okay, so then our next step will be is to add another pixel layer. And right now you're gonna choose whatever color you want for the image. I'm gonna go with red because I think it's gonna look, leave a pretty cool effect, kind of like a Sith Lord maybe from Star Wars. But anyways, you wanna lower your hardness all the way down to zero. And our flow, we're gonna reduce to about 20% or so. So we have some like soft lines while we're painting. So we're going to adjust the bracket keys, make our brush a little bit bigger, and then we're simply going to go right over top of the image that we just traced out. Not the best with my hand and my mouse right now with a tutorial, but trying my best. Okay, so once you have everything kind of traced over like so, we're going to change the blend mode to lighten. So it's as simple as clicking this button right here. That'll kind of send the white to the front. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're also going to add a Gaussian blur to this layer as well. So just go back here, and this one we're going to add a little bit more. Get a little bit higher in the pixels. We'll go with about six. Okay, so next step, we're going to add another pixel layer. So do that right like that, and we're going to increase the brush size here. And we're going to do another layer, but this layer we're going to make sure we only do it on the outside so just on the very outside layer of your picture or image like so oh that was kind of bad yeah just like we're also going to add a gaussian blur to this layer as well what's new but we're going to actually ramp this one up quite a bit higher kind of make it flow a little bit more we'll go around 65 though so if this is looking a little awkward what we can do is slightly change the opacity of that last uh, brush layer right there like so okay to make this look a little bit better and more real what we're gonna do is try to get the color to show up on this dude's face right here kind of make it um, seem like the neons kind of flowing into him per se so what we'll do for that is we're gonna change our flow to about very low percentage and then we're gonna go back to our brush we're just gonna literally paint over the dude right there. Oh, that's not good, that looked terrible. But we'll start lightly painting over him. Give it kind of like a reddish hue. With a smaller brush now, what we're gonna do is go in and kind of highlight, do some more details, kind of toward the edge and like where the light would actually be bouncing off of the dude's skin. It, uh, Kind of something like that on the nose, underneath here, um, stuff like that. And you can also do this like finer adjustments, also do the clothes just to make them look a little more real. For this image, it's he's wearing like a black hoodie so you can't really see the details too much. 
so I'm not gonna worry about it for this one, but for further images, just keep that in mind. And we're gonna change the blend mode to lighten. Another thing we can do is add a curves layer. And what the curves layer is going to do is kinda bring out more of the color that you want. So it'll make the whole image look a little bit more red in this case. So we're gonna start by making a little S curve here. Bringing out the highlights and bring down the shadows a little bit. And then we're gonna go through the separate colors right here and adjust them a little bit. Using the red color, if you go down, it's gonna kind of take away the red, and if you go up, it's gonna highlight it and make it uh, much more like vibrant. So we'll go right about here. And you can also go through the other colors and see what they're gonna give you when you change them. But I'm probably going to just keep the red highlighted a little bit and on the master one we'll keep the S curve so yeah this is what we basically come out with as a finished product if you want to see the before and after when you add the curves adjustment it kind of takes away the vibrance when you don't have it there and when you add it in uh, it looks a lot more natural on the face so yeah this is basically it you can do some more highlighting and adjusting if you want I Brightness and contrast, change those up, that makes a difference sometimes, but this is basically all you gotta do for the general neon line art, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end, it really means a lot to me. If you guys could, just drop a subscribe and drop a like, it helps a lot in the YouTube algorithm, you know, that's just how it goes. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, and you guys have a good day.